Hello, 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 and welcome back. God bless every one of you. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. May the peace of the Lord be with you. May whatever righteous you lay your hands upon to do, may it prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. My amazing old subscribers, those who are yet to join, I am so blessed to have every one of you. May God bless you mightily for me. Amen. My wonderful people. As I welcome you back, that is something I want to share with you people. This is United States dollar. Well, I'm going to showcase some currencies here, pounds, euros, and gold as well. So two years ago, and as well as last year, when God is repeating something, that is a reason God is warning his people. This Holy Spirit put it in my heart to make a video, but that was on my Facebook, that all our people in Nigeria, if you are a business person or you have a certain amount of money with you, please, I am pleading with you, do not leave your money in Nigerian currency. Change it, exchange it to any hard currency of your choice. Either dollar, this is this one is pound sterling, the next one coming is euro and as well as gold. These currencies are hard currency you can exchange anywhere. Naira only works in Nigeria. And not only that, if when you exchange them with Nigeria, when you exchange Nigerian money to these currencies, the volume will be very small. And for you to safeguard your future and that of your loved ones, my advice to you is to rise up and exchange your money to hard currencies of any choice. And as well to make a research to banks that are doing international banking in nigeria that you can bank your hard currency apart from having domiciliary account gold is as well a very nice commodity you can buy it is very small and very portable and as well as you know something that cannot perish the ad the reason for this is to safeguard our people namdi kano said something before this incident that if case not taken by the end of this year it will be a dollar to 1,000 Naira. And remember what took place during the Biafran war. Now, no matter the amount of millions of money Biafran people had in the bank, Nigerian people seized all of them and gave them only 20 pounds. That was how the father of Dan Gote became rich. That was transferred to his son. So that is why they are riches. I don't care about it because it is money stolen from the people. I am asking you to heed to this advice. When a word is coming, it's coming for a purpose. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. Please subscribe to the channel and subscribe to Jesus Christ as well. I love you all and tell me what you think on the comment section. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Depot Adesina. Now I'm shooting this video specifically to those who are in Nigeria because something is getting ready to happen that is going to negatively impact millions of Nigeria. And I think most people need to know this to prepare for what's coming. Now to give you a picture of what's getting ready to take place, I'm going to use Zimbabwe as an example. All right, in 1980, Zimbabwe introduced their own dollar currency. Okay, this is one dollar Zimbabwe money. As of 1980, this one dollar was equivalent to one dollar one dollar and forty seven cents as of 1980. By the year 2007, to get one dollar, all right, you needed four. I mean, 37 million of this to get one of this, which means that their money became worthless because of all the turmoil and they, you know, that was taking place in Zimbabwe. By the year 2009, they dumped their own currency in pursuit of dollars because this became their real value. So right here, guys, is real Zimbabwe money of $50 trillion. It got to a point that they started using wheelbarrow to move this money around because it was that worthless. Nobody was using this. Everybody wanted real dollars. Now, 
Here's how this relates to Nigeria. Nigeria's main source of foreign exchange dollars that comes into the country is through crude oil. All right. As I'm talking to you right now, globally, nobody is buying crude oil. All right. Which means everybody that's producing crude oil, they are at a loss. It's so bad that people, companies, countries are having to pay buyers to take the crude oil from them because there's nowhere to store the crude oil. So now that Nigeria doesn't have any type of foreign exchange coming in with the exception of, you know, those Nigerians in the diaspora that are sending money back home, that is creating a big problem. So much so, just like Zimbabwe, Nigerians are dumping their Naira. This is 1,000 Naira in exchange for dollars. Nigerians are dumping this for this right now. How do I know? A month ago, Naira, to get one of this, you needed 360,000, uh, 360 Naira, about a month ago. Today, as of today, today, you need 450 Naira to get one of this. And it's just the beginning. Because Nigerians are starting to wake up that this thing is soon becoming very, very worthless. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's becoming worthless at a rapid pace, okay? I told my friend uh, who lives in Nigeria also a month ago when Naira went from 360 to 370, I said, listen, go and pull your money from your savings. Go and pull your money from mutual funds in Nigeria because they're, they're not paying. They're paying pennies and change your money into dollars. At that time, the rate was at 370. He did that. So the, nine, the dollars he bought at 370, if he was to go and sell that dollar back, he's selling it at the rate of about 450 right now, right? Which means that he made some profit. But at the same time, if you have dollars right now, this is not the time to sell it. Because Naira is become, right now, today's 450. Yesterday, it was at 430. So 20 Naira jump in difference within 24 hours. That means that in the next coming weeks and months, this thing might hit 1,000 Naira, all right? You might have to spend 1,000 Naira to get $1. That means at that point, this paper is uh, pretty much worthless. So here's my advice to all Nigerians watching this, all right? You don't have to believe me. Just keep watching and see what happens. Number one, if you have Naira in millions or whatever kind of Naira you have that's tangible, Go and change it into some kind of foreign exchange of uh, foreign money, whether dollars, euro, pound, whatever. Get rid of your Naira and put it into a different currency that's not Naira and hold on to it. Number two, you can invest your money or start a business, something that increases the value of your money. So if you're investing outside of Nigeria into something that pays you in dollars, this is the best time to do that. Right, Your mutual fund money in Nigeria right now is going to become worthless. Any form of investment that's paying you in Naira, all right? You might get a return, but what you were buying for 100 Naira today, you might be paying for that very same thing at 1,000 Naira tomorrow. So do something that's increasing the value of your money. And number three, listen very closely to all my fellow Nigerians. Find a way to get involved in the agriculture sector. In the 60s, agriculture was the backbone of Nigeria, all right? Until Nigeria discovered crude oil and we abandoned agriculture. Now, we are abandoning crude oil because it's not bringing any money. And Nigeria, even the government knows that we gotta start diversifying. And the next biggest thing in Nigeria right now is agriculture. Because guess what? People don't drink crude oil. People don't drink refined oil, but people must eat every day. Whether you're rich or you're poor, you have to put something in your stomach. You have to drink something. That is why agriculture is going to be the next backbone of the economy. All right. So I hope you guys have learned one or two things. Please and please share this video with as much as many people as possible so that they can understand what's going on in the country so that you're not being lied to by anybody. And you are doing whatever you have to do to protect yourself, your family and your finances. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.